Have you ever wondered if the White House, the symbol of power and authority, is haunted? Imagine the intrigue that shrouds this iconic residence, its rich history home to countless individuals who have lived, ruled, and passed away within its walls. This grand stage is set perfectly for supernatural occurrences, the whispers of the past echoing through its corridors. Is it possible that these echoes are more than just metaphorical? Stay with us as we delve into the eerie tales and the chronological history of the White House. The White House, built in the 18th century, has seen more than its fair share of historical events and personal tragedies. This grand edifice, a symbol of the nation's resilience, has borne witness to the ebb and flow of history since its inception. It's no wonder then, that it's also home to echoes of the past that refuse to fade away. In the early days, the White House was more than a political hub, it was also a personal residence. The story of Abigail Adams, the wife of the second president John Adams, is a testament to this. Known for her intelligence and wit, Abigail also had a pragmatic side. She used the East Room, now a grand space for hosting events, as a place to hang her laundry. Some say, you can still catch a glimpse of her, clad in her damp clothes, wandering the room, a spectral reminder of a past that's never fully left. And so, our journey through the White House's haunted chronicles begins. From its early days as a burgeoning symbol of a new nation, to its current standing as the nerve center of global politics, the White House has been a silent spectator to countless lives and innumerable stories. As we move forward in time, the hauntings in the White House seem to become more frequent and more chilling. The hauntings of the White House are not just events of a bygone era. Indeed, the spectral residents of this iconic building don't seem to be confined to the annals of the past. They continue to make their presence known to this very day, weaving an intricate tapestry of chilling tales and eerie encounters. Take, for instance, the ghost of Abraham Lincoln. The former president, known for his pivotal role in American history, has reportedly been seen by multiple occupants of the White House. First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt once confessed to feeling a strange presence in the Lincoln bedroom. Even British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, a man not easily frightened, was startled to encounter Lincoln's apparition during his stay at the White House. But Lincoln isn't the only former president who seems reluctant to leave. The ghost of Andrew Jackson, the seventh president of the United States, is said to haunt his old bedroom, now known as the Rose Room. His boisterous laughter and heated arguments have reportedly been heard echoing through the halls. And let's not forget the mysterious British soldier. This spectral figure, believed to be a casualty from the War of 1812, has been seen holding a torch as if still on duty, protecting the building from past threats. These tales of hauntings are a chilling reminder of the White House's storied past, but they also serve as a fascinating glimpse into a world beyond our own, where the line between the living and the dead is blurred in the most intriguing way. These spectral sightings, whether true or not, add an eerie layer to the White House's history. From the ghostly echoes of past presidents to the chilling whispers of unseen attendants, these tales have woven themselves into the fabric of this iconic building's past. They serve as a haunting reminder of the historical figures who once graced its halls, adding a unique mystique that continues to captivate us. As the sun sets and the lights of the White House flicker in the twilight, one can't help but wonder who might be wandering its hallowed halls tonight.